to walk in the studio, I remember I came in uh, late one day, we, it was when we were doing the strings, and to hear my songs, uh, the strings, it was the first time I had used strings, you know, like uh, cellos and you know, full strings, and to hear my songs, yeah, it was like my dream. It, it was, I, I mean, my eyes welled up, my heart just, you know, sunk. It was like so, it was something that I had created and I couldn't believe I had created this thing. It was far beyond anything I had even imagined. I'm like, you know, bouncing off the walls with this. This is like, such, nobody had done this before. This was something brand new, you know, uh, of taking this uh, old, late uh, early 60s concept and kind of redoing it making a great record for lovers you know this was a record for lovers you know and for street characters you know uh it had that romance to it i get a call from capital uh willie we've had a meeting they used to tell me and uh we decided to put your album on the shelf which means we're not going to put it out and we're going to have to let you go. This is like two weeks before Christmas. I mean, I, I, I thought I was going to get a gun and shoot myself. Uh, I, you know, I said, what, what is the deal? What's going on here? You know, I mean, well, we don't know how to market it. We've never heard anything like this before. I said, would you rather have heard it before? What, you know, what are we doing here? I thought we're supposed to be making great records, doing things that, you know... Crossing frontiers that never been crossed before, that kind of thing, you know. Uh, my heart was broken, was just broken. I, I told the son of a bitch, I said, hey man, you know, send me back to the street, but Jesus, you know, I can survive, but my record, please don't, you've got to put this record out. I know this record is great, you know, you've got to put it out. Sorry, we can't do it, we have to put it on the shelf until a later date, I don't know what we're going to do with it. Oh man, talk about depression. I went into like a deep, deep, deep broken hearted depression and uh, I stayed that way for about a year. Anyway, Maxime Schmidt, uh, the guy who worked with me at uh, Capitol in, in Paris, he called me and said, Willie, just because they're not putting out in America, I would like to put this out in, in Europe, you know. I said, oh man, please, Maxime, do something, help me here, you know. So he put it out. And the record came over as uh, an import, all right? So when all the critiques came in, all the critics, uh, the polls came in, everybody loved the record. It was the record of the Rolling Stone. Matter of fact, it was record of the year, okay? Best new record of the year. Uh, all of a sudden, Capitol felt like idiots. Like, wait a minute, who, who let DeVille go? What, what's going on here? This record had possibilities. They felt like total idiots, like they had their thumbs up their asses, you know? I thought there was a connection there too with another ethnic uh, uh, property that I was uh, exploring at the time was Cajun music. I did a song on it called Mazuka, which uh, had nothing to do with Paris. This is Cajun, you know, and I, I put it on the album, you know. But they didn't understand it, that I did it in Patois French, you know, it was in Cajun French, it wasn't in Parisian French, you know. They didn't understand all that and they didn't want to hear about it. You know, record companies, you know, like, you know, you heard the story, we, we never heard anything like that before. You know, if they can't put you in a category, you know, this, this upsets them. They can't put a label on you. Capital Records.
he didn't really fit their image. Glenn Campbell did. So Capital might have been the wrong label for him when he started. Besides the the rumors flew around that he was uh, a junkie and uh, that didn't help and uh, other than that I don't know he's all, he's never had a proper manager he's always gone with the wrong people and uh, there's a lot that Willie could have done uh, in a smarter way and gotten where he wanted to go uh, faster and more believable. God, managers have, have taken millions from me, millions. I could be a millionaire real easy if I had all those chances back again to, to change, but I don't, and it's time gone. You know, you can't do it. some things you can't change. Uh, millions of dollars have been stolen from me. Okay, it's life. You, you chalk it off as experience, right? But the, the crime is really, I think, given up, you know, is, is just finally saying, well, it's, you know, it's too tough, you know, and, and becoming a critic. <laughs> that's, that's the worst, you know, becoming a critic if you're, if you're a musician. <laughs> I, I almost feel like Mink DeVille, in a way, brought the Cadillac back into vogue. This is a 72, but the 59 was the year. 60 was nice, too. That had a longer fin. I always wanted one. I got this one, and then when I got it, I drove it around for a while, and uh, uh, it wore off. You know, they don't really let me drive too much anyway. They, they, when I get in the car, in the driver's seat, everybody runs. You know. My baby, she got the Cadillac wall. What is making it, you know? To me, uh, you know, some, some people would say uh, well, Michael Jackson made it, uh, Elvis Presley made it, Madonna made it. Who comes up, the sun goes down. We love she starts to creep around. They don't have Michael Jackson's bank account, but if all those problems he has comes along with it, I don't want it, you know? I think that's why it took me so long to get where I am now. Because I can't fix a price on what I do because I love it so much. You know, I feel like I deserve a little bit after 20 years and being on the street, living in hotels, nearly killing myself a couple of times, and all for the love of rock and roll. <laughs> 